Russian fans really like your red car, your Pontiac. Uh, tell us about it. Where and when did you buy the car? The uh, retro car is actually a 67 Pontiac GTO and it's my father's. He uh, rebuilt it uh, about five years ago and I helped him out with it. So it means a lot to him and a lot to me and uh, I hopefully can get it when, uh, when he's ready to get rid of it someday. How much does that car cost in the USA? Uh, that car, probably rough estimate, anywhere from forty to fifty thousand dollars because it's all custom and it's all stock and original parts. Um, what's your personal car speed record? Uh, I'd say probably in a car, roughly one hundred and forty miles an hour. Did you watch an Olympic Games in Sochi? And can you maybe recall something? Uh, I can't say that I really watched a lot of the Olympics. Uh, I think I was working or training at the time, so um, I don't really watch a lot of TV, to tell you the truth. I got Netflix, but uh, man, I'm so busy, I don't really have the opportunity. I get, uh, I get news uh, here and there, but as far as TV, I, I don't really watch much at this point. Every man has an example to follow, especially sportsmen. Uh, maybe you have some kind of sport idol or something. Yeah, there's definitely a, a couple fighters that I've watched throughout the years. Uh, one of them would be Matt Hughes and one of them would be Randy Couture. They're both wrestlers that transition into the sport, so obviously I feel like we have a lot in common and I try to carry, carry after the things that they do and uh, I just hope that someday I can be as, uh, as amazing as fighters as those two individuals. Okay, so women and mixed martial arts. What emotions do you have from watching women fights? Uh, it's definitely something new. Uh, women in mixed martial arts, it's, it's tough to watch women um, fight, but uh, I guess you know they have it in their bloodline just like men do, and if they're able to train and, and participate and, uh, and do the things that we can do, and they're willing to take it on a serious level, I don't see why they shouldn't be able to. How can you imagine yourself after finishing fighting? After I finish fighting, uh, it's kind of hard to fathom actually at this point. I've been competing my whole entire life. So, uh, you know, my game plan is to go back to school and get my master's degree and uh, hopefully be a, a school counselor at the high school I went to. So that's my game plan and hopefully uh, once MMA is all said and done, I'll be able to follow through with that. What can you wish, what would you like to wish to the young fighters, to the young prospects who just signed their first contract and maybe are ready to sign it? Uh, I would say definitely be in a place where you know that uh, you're going to be able to give this to your all. I've seen fighters that, that take uh, their first amateur fights. It's not as big of a deal, but as soon as you get to the pro level, I've seen guys jump into it way too quickly. And the reality is, if you're not set up physically, mentally, and you're not in a good fight camp, you don't have good people surrounding you, it's going to be a short-lived career. So I would say just make sure you do it 110% and, uh, and give it your all and hope for the best.